Good morning, my friends. Well up. What a beautiful early morning it is. It's a little chilly. Fall is in the air. It's crispy. So about midnight last night, I hear this rattling in the kitchen. There's noise all over the kitchen. Toby's running around. Things are happening. We have mice. And I've set various kinds of traps. One of the traps I've set is glue traps. The mouse gets into the glue, he's stuck to the trap. He, he's not going anywhere. But this mouse was going somewhere. He was attached to the trap by his tail, and he's dragging his trap all over the kitchen. And of course, the trap slowed him down enough that Toby could catch up with him, and this mouse was just rattling all over the kitchen. So I don't, I don't know what to do. Um, I decided that the best thing to do would be to drop the mouse, the trap, the whole thing into a pot of water, dry them. It's over quick. So I dropped it into, a, I did, I dropped it into some water, and the mouse climbed out of the water. He's struggling valiantly to stay alive. I got him back in the water, clamped the lid on, and in a few seconds it was over. I felt sorry for the mouse. But, it reminded me, when, when our life is threatened, the immediate um, and present danger, we struggle valiantly. So, we get diagnosed with cancer, and we go through all of this horrible stuff, chemotherapy and radiation, and radical surgeries, and etc. And I know a lot about this because, as you know, my wife went through it. Now, the question I have for you is, why don't we actively take measures to prevent it? Why do we wait? Until we have to have chemo and radiation and radical surgery to do something about it. When there are things that we can do today that can increase dramatically our probability of never getting the disease to begin with. What is it about us that lets us know that there are things that we can do, should do, and would probably prevent the disease from developing, yet we have this sort of belief that it happens to other people, it doesn't happen to me, and we wait until catastrophe strikes, and then we act. If you know the answer, I'd love to hear it. That's all for today. This is Len. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. Please plan to be happy. And don't forget to give candy to strangers. We'll talk again tomorrow. Bye for now.